What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com here with another Lightroom 4 edit slash mixology recipe for you guys. And we're going to be covering today this uh, whimsical green stylized color preset number 34. And this is the effect that you get basically with this preset. So if I hit backslash, you can see the before and the after image. And what this effect is doing is basically it's serving to brighten up our image as well as pull a lot of the pinks and, and reds out of our image by adding greens to it. Now, I love using this image uh, or this preset in kind of two scenarios. Number one is basically for images that have just way too much red. If you look at this original image, you'll notice that we shot this couple just right against this brick wall. And so the, basically that red that's being cast off the brick wall is adding way too much pink magenta and just overall just making their skin look way too red in this image. So when we add this effect, it does a really nice job of pulling out a lot of those red tones by adding greens over it. So this is kind of one of my favorite effects to use in these images that have too much red. Again, it's kind of a more bright uh, look to the image. It's also very stylized in color, and so it has kind of a more high contrast look to it, but not super crushed. But once again, since it is stylized in its color setting, it's not one that you'd apply to every single image, but you'd use more for kind of these specific situations. Now, the other situation I love to use this preset in is basically for field and nature type shots. So I'm going to scroll all the way over here on my little uh, film strip right here to this scene. This is another one of my kind of favorite looks for this type of effect and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's select this shot of our model here in our field and we already have a lot of nice green tone kind of to this shot and it works really well with the additional kind of adding the additional green tones as well as the existing yellow and green tones as well and you'll see that when we apply the effect. Now I'm going to apply it so it's going to be whimsical green and you'll see overall that all we got to do is basically make a couple adjustments to exposure as well as to temperature. And if you find that it adds a little bit too much green, just pull it out by adding a little bit of pinks uh, with your, uh, or a little bit of magenta rather, with your tint. So we're just going to pull the tint up a little bit. We're going to pull the temperature down a bit just to neutralize it a tiny bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of additional exposure. Once again, we create these presets uh, basically designed for standard exposed images. So if you see the preset has plus one exposure, that means that it's designed to basically take an image plus one over a standard exposure. And so we want to have it kind of more on the bright side. So let's check out this image. Here's the before, here's the after. It has a really nice kind of neutralizing effect where it adds a little bit of green into the overall tones in the image and kind of neutralizes a lot of the pinks. Once again, it's one of those stylized settings that you guys have to choose when and where you want to use it. Another scene that I kind of like to use this on is, again, another field shot, a very much a nature shot. And let's apply the effect and see what we get. So let's go to, here it is, Whimsical Green, number 34. And once again, we're going to brighten it up a bit because it's supposed to be one stop over. And so we're going to take it about, up to. let's take it up to two and see what we get. And we get a pretty good effect. I might even take it a little bit higher. So maybe we go up to like 2.3 or something like that. And then once again, we're going to tweak our tint and our temperature to kind of be exactly where we want it. And I'm just going to raise temperature up a little bit more. All right, so let's take a look at it. Here is the before, here's the after. You can see how it, it kind of creates that overall really bright, neutral, kind of nice green tinted effect, which works very well in these nature shots. All right, guys, so let's go through and let's first do the actual recipe for how to create this effect or this mixology using the Lightroom 4 preset system. So I'm going to hit Control Shift R to completely reset this image. We're going to pull up our left side panel by hitting, uh, well, actually, let's hit. F7 to pull up the left side panel and let's hit F6 to shrink our film strip. Alright, so of course the first thing we start with is always the standard import preset which you guys should have applied on import. We're going to drop down to our base adjustments and let's start making our adjustments here. Now once again we adjust based on a properly exposed image. So for a properly exposed image I want it to be on the brighter side. So we're going to brighten it by one stop and that means for a properly exposed image we should go up one stop beyond the proper exposure. Now let's go down to our, let's go down to base tones. We're going to do a little flatten on the highlights. It's going to overall kind of mute the tones. And then we're going to drop down the detail and do a light soften. This is going to create a nice kind of glow to the image. It's going to kind of adjust down the overall detail so we get kind of a more whimsical feel to it, less mid-tone contrast and detail. We're going to skip over contrast because we're going to add our contrast actually by adding black. So we're going to do a heavy darken. And you'll see that this becomes very dark right now because the original image was actually a little bit underexposed. So once again, when creating presets, it's always ideal to use a properly exposed image so you guys know exactly 
where the uh, the adjustments are. But we know just from the previous preset where the adjustments should be. So that's kind of where we're going off of. All right, so now we're going to go down to saturation. We're going to do a light desaturation just to pull out a little bit of the overall tone. We're good with noise reduction because we don't need any for a general preset. We're good with vignetting as well when it's standard. We're going to close up the base adjustments and drop down to our color toning. And from here, we're going to add tone on tone, green, green. And this is going to add just a light green, green effect to the image. And that's it. From here, we would save the mixology into our presets by hitting plus. Once again, check all, undo white balance, length profile, transform, and chromatic. Select the My Mixology folder and choose your name or wherever you guys want to put it is fine. And however you guys want to name it is totally up to you guys. But that's the effect that we would set up. And we're going to hit Create, but actually in this case we're going to hit Cancel because 1.1 users, this is already saved under your stylized color whimsical green effect. So now from here, of course, all we would do is just adjust in our uh, exposure adjustments by going up because this image was underexposed to begin with. So we're going to take it up to about 2.5. And then we'll go over here and adjust in our white balance settings to get maybe a little bit more tint, a little more pinks in there, and then maybe just a little bit more yellow. All right, guys, so that's overall the effect that we're going for. Kind of a really cool, whimsical, green-on-green -green tone look. So now let's create the exact same effect using the natural LR4 sliders versus the Lightroom 4 preset system. So once again, let's hit Control shift r We're going to reset everything out. We're going to hit F8 to pull up our right side panel, and let's get started. So once again, we want on a properly exposed image, we want this to be plus one in exposure. So we're going to dial in plus one right there. We're going to go down to our highlights, and we're going to pull highlights down to negative 30 because we want to bring down all of the kind of tones and kind of just mute the overall tones uh, so to kind of create that whimsical, slightly vintage look to the image. We're going to also pull down shadows to deepen the shadows, create a little bit of contrast. We're going to pull down the whites because, again, we want to mute the overall highlights. And now we're going to pull down blacks by quite a bit to negative 60 to get our contrast in the image. Now, since we are basically working through this image uh, basically from the start and using the natural sliders, what I do at this point is adjust in my correct exposure. So I'd go up to 2.5 on this. And that looks fine right there. We would we would probably keep temperature and tint where it is because it looks fine for right now. We would adjust that as a final small adjustment because we always work from kind of big adjustments to small adjustments. So we're good from here. What we're going to do now is drop down to clarity. We're going to subtract out 10 just to kind of create that nice overall glow, a little bit more of that whimsical look to it. And then what we're going to do with our vibrance is pump our vibrance up to 30 while dropping saturation down to negative 20. And this has a very subtle kind of uh, adjustment to basically pulling down the saturation a little bit. It's going to desaturate, but just a tiny bit. We're pulling down very the stronger colors with our saturation while doing a little bit of increasing the vibrance just in the more subtle colors with our vibrance settings. All right. Now from here, we're going to go down to our split toning. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to add green on green. So we're going to go down to our highlight panel. Let's go down over to, let's see, I think our effect is around the hundreds because it's more of a green tint. So let's go around to right there and let's dial in a saturation point. And I want it to be very, very subtle. So especially on the highlight side. So on the highlight side, I'm only going to have it at around five. And on the shadow side, we can have a little bit more of a strong effect. So let's go down to around the same thing. It's, again, it's tone on tone. So we're keeping kind of the same, uh, kind of the same hues on both sides. But we're going to take down our saturation on this on the uh, shadow side to like about 16, and then for the balance we're going to go plus 25 just to add a little bit of the uh, kind of highlights more to the the uh, or sorry a little bit of the greens more to the highlight side, but we'll still keep quite a bit of additional green in the shadow as well. All right, let's drop down to detail. We have our split toning taken care of. And in detail, we're going to add sharpening. We're going to zoom in on our image actually to 1 to 1 so we can kind of see these effects. So we'll go up to about 70, 1.5. We'll start basically with our standard import uh, detail adjustments and see if it's good from there. And it should be good because we made this to be a very generalized sharpening setting. And it looks fine right there. You can notice a little bit of lens flare right there, which we're not going to correct because it would take a little bit of time and I don't want to. But if you guys wanted to actually correct that quickly, you know what, let's just do it, actually, because uh, it'll be a really quick adjustment. And we can actually, what we'll do is we'll make it more, uh, 
just kind of diminish it overall then reduce it. All we're going to do is just desaturate it. So let's go up to our brushes. We're going to pick a desaturate brush. And what you'll see with that desaturate brush is it just pulls down saturation by negative 20. This is in the preset system thing, but obviously it's very easy just to create this on your own for this pre brush preset. And we're going to pull it down just a little bit to about negative 30, negative 40. Let's just keep going until basically we don't see the effect too much. So around negative 40, it has a nice diminishing uh, effect to that uh, to that flare right there. Any more than that, we need to kind of take this into Photoshop and do some adjustment from there. But the diminishing is good enough. All right, so we're good there, and we're also good with our detail. Uh, let's go down now. Let's go down now to lens corrections, and what we're going to do is just brighten up the edges a bit by adding plus 30 to the edge, and then bringing the midpoint in just to kind of overall brighten up most of the natural vignetting that's going to be in our lenses. And it'll kind of have a really nice kind of, we want to keep the basically the graduation of these tones even from edge to edge. Now for this image, it's a little bit bright on each side, so if you wanted to adjust it down a tiny bit, you can as well. But for most images, plus 30 uh, and 30 for the midpoint is going to be about right. All right, guys, so that is how to dial in those settings. Once again, with just the standard Lightroom 4 preset sliders, you can see the before and the after by hitting the backslash. We've gone and we've created our nice whimsical green on green tone effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this whimsical green style, guys, in this tutorial, and we will see you guys along with the next one.